Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Kaylin Cockreel. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time to bring you the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of May 29th through June 4th. A celebration to honor two historical figures attracted many recently. On Wednesday, May 22nd, residents gathered at Civic Plaza to honor the legacy of Dred and Harriet Scott. Dred and Harriet Scott, as many of you know, were slaves who sued for their freedom. Uh, and in doing that, they endured a long 11-year-plus uh, battle that ended in one of the most infamous United States Supreme Court cases in our history. The evening was one of education and reflection. Actors from the Minnesota Historical Society illustrated the Scots' struggle in their quest for freedom. A special guest with a unique connection to the couple also was in attendance that night. Well, Dred and Harriet Scott are my great-great-grandparents. Lynn spoke about Dred and Harriet's background, how they met, and their wedding. And since this was her first visit to Minnesota, where the couple lived enslaved for many years, emotions were running high. Just to be able to, to see where they lived and to go where they suffered in some regards, because it's cold up here, and I'm um, sure that was difficult for them. But I have wanted to come for a long time, so I'm very excited about it. At a point in also time, a part of the evening, Dred Scott Playfield was uh, rededicated, and a plaque was unveiled that will soon be displayed there, so all will know the historical significance behind the park's name. We don't have something like that in St. Louis yet, but the fact that this city has had this for over 40 years is so impressive to me. And, and even now, they're still trying to identify exactly who these people were. So I'm thrilled and I'm happy to be up here at the time when this is going to happen. Parks and Recreation Manager Randy Qualley expects to have the plaque installed out at Dred Scott Playfield within the next few weeks. Bloomington is a city with roots that run deep. Many residents are born here and continue living here their entire lives. I'm excited to introduce a new segment called Remembering Bloomington, where we showcase a series of memories by Bloomington residents. I have lived in Bloomington since 1967. This is what I remember most about Bloomington. My favorite place to work besides Creekside was Saints Roller Rink located behind Cub off of Lindale. I was in my 50s when I started working at the rink as a skate guard. Our job was to keep the floor safe for everyone. We kicked the people off the floor if they were going too fast or bumping into people. Some of the kids really needed a time out. After being a skate guard for two years, I became a skating instructor. My favorite session was Saturday morning for the Tiny Tops kids ranging from age 4 to 12 that came in wanting lessons. We taught basic things like how to fall down properly, hands up, head bent forward, and body tucked under as you go down. On Monday nights we learned lessons for young adults 18 and over. On Tuesday mornings we had a housewife and a couple session. The couples loved to dance on skates. I really enjoyed my job and it wasn't work for me, just pure enjoyment. If it wasn't for my arthritis, I would still be skating. I am proud to live in Bloomington. Are you? If you or someone you know has a unique story or memory about a city landmark, a significant event, or simply a childhood pastime enjoyed in Bloomington and have photos that go along with it, we'd like to hear from you. Please email me at the address on your screen or call 952-563-8821. Farmers and growers alike have been faced with a tough spring. From late snowfalls to heavy rain, Mother Nature has made crop production difficult. But as opening day of the city's farmers market rapidly approaches, Center for the Arts manager Jim Urie says vendors are all in and excited to get the season started. Bloomington's market opens Saturday, June 8th, and will run every Saturday through October from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. in the east parking lot of Bloomington Civic Plaza. Yuri says Bloomington is one of the later markets to open, so while that is good for vendors, there will be a little bit less of a variety initially, but that's expected to quickly pick up. In season, crops include asparagus, 
leafy greens like spinach and lettuce, and rhubarb. And be sure to mark your calendar for the June 15th market as well, where there'll be a cooking demonstration so that residents can not only explore new healthy food options, but learn how to cook them. And that is the buzz on Bloomington today for the week of May 29th through June 4th. Thanks for joining us.